Hey guys, so I learned the hard way that if I let too many of these ideas accumulate, um, all that ends up happening is I end up making a three hour video and the these ideas will get buried um, and they'll never, you know, possibly see the light of day. We're just recording the little synchronicities. This is going to sound crazy if you haven't been following the um the meta rpg the ssp ttt the meta rpg game we're playing which is the new variation on the applied time travel technology time jump ship we're doing that crap again over on the the uh blueberry wolf bridge no intro rpg channel check it out yo um and i'm gonna upload this to the cw chanter channel because like i don't know like i think i want to like you know see people we're putting it's we're putting shit out there so also it's like you know let people think that i'm losing my mind why not um also it's jay-z night you know so we saw this girl go q crazy uh so <laughs> what's happened since then we don't know but this is back in 2003 so this is 20 years ago so this is on the 20 year nostalgia loop right this is her fireside series, Ramtha. Oh no, not her. This is Ram, the Ram, Prophets of Our Own Destiny. When I first saw this at Barnes & Noble, first of all, Barnes & Noble, we closed down. February 2nd is the third episode of The Simpsons that we're going to be watching on the 20 Year Nostalgia Loop, people. Heads up, $4, magic number, confirmation of the Barnes & Noble that we shut down, confirmed from the New Age section. When I first saw this in New Age section, I said, oh wow, look, they put a Mormon book accidentally in the um, New Age sex. And I said, oh no, it's Jay-Z Knight. She apparently used the same um, place. This She's like called up uh, the uh, the Council of Twelve. Oh my God. Are you right? Look at Sherlock Holmes. Oh my God, girl. These series of teachings are designed for all the students of the great work who have loved the teachings of the ROM. I love her working that butch madness and it's great. Light your fireplace and get cozy. Have your wine and fine tobacco. Prepare yourself. Open your mind and learn and be genius. I love like the machismo, like the hat and the and the pipe mean that she's turned into the dude. Um, here we go. The Fireside Series Library is like, okay, whatever. Where's our synchro we just we're just counting synchronicities and we're just playing a game. Okay? We get it. What's a win? Synchronicities and coincidences added up. Those are your wins in the, in the horoscope, in the tarot card reading. So that's it. So, so this was 1998, 25-year nostalgia loop. Okay, that's just the copyright on her basic teachings that she's selling. In the last 25 years, right? 20, this is 20 years ago. Remember, this is 2003. So now it's been 45 years that she's been doing this. Remember, so the culmination of her 40, nearly 50 years in the New Age shop was QAnon for Jay-Z Knight. In the last 25 years, Ramtha, 25-year nostalgia loop, so we got one. 1998, that's 25 years for us. We got 2000, so there's a 23 year nostalgia loop, the number 23, very big for the occultists. Introduction to Ramtha by Jay Z Knight. In other words, his whole point of focus is to come here and teach you to be extraordinary. So when we play this game, this meta RPG game, this SSP TTT, the meta RPG, we are playing with these new age concepts of don't be. Oh, don't dream it. Be it. We're making it happen. We're trying to make change happen in accordance with our will. We're trying to keep it as close to the to the chest as possible and be realistic as possible and say, we're acknowledging that it's a form of self-hypnosis. We're trying to, you know, know and, and not be so open-minded that our brains fall out, but have as much fun with it as possible. You don't have to stand for me. My name is Jay-Z Knight, and I'm the rightful owner of this body. And welcome to Ramtha's school and sit down. Thank you. Fair use, fair use, fair use. This is a transformative work. I'm quoting from this stuff just to show how it's relevant to our little game. It wasn't until 1977. I don't point that out for any sort of nostalgia loop, but I do point that out for if you study Terrence McKenna and his brother's work with Time Wave Zero, and uh, they have this notion of uh, the 
uh, conservation of novelty in the universe. Look at 1975 and 77. Look at the years between 1975 and 77. The invention of punk rock. The invention of ambient music. William Burroughs returns to New York City. Um, uh, David Bowie's Berlin phase with Brian Eno. I mean, just, there's just so many things that happen around that period of time uh, in arts and movies and stuff. Uh, what Kraftwerk did, the album they released, I think it was like, what, what, I forget which album they released in 1977, but it's just like there's so many things that happen at particular points in time. Now watch this also, I won't point out another thing about this. It's something that she has in common with David Icke and something that we also see in common with a certain person that um, I think is probably at the end of their career now, which is uh, even though what I'm doing is totally 100% new age, I'm not new age, and new age is stupid, right? David Icke says, I went to a psychic named Betty Shine, and she, I, she gave me this whole psychic reading, but the new age is stupid, and new age is crazy, and new age is an illusion that catches you in a matrix. But David Icke, you're out here talking about reincarnation, going to South America, and having this ayahuasca experience. Dude, everything you're doing is new age. You went to Betty Shine and had this... She's a psychic, and if you read Betty Shine, like if you go to her original materials, like she's like a pure like the light crystal of the pyramids of Atlantis are alive within you. Like she's pure, like a hundred percent New Age. The notion that David Icke is telling things that is just that's his ego thinking that he's receiving this message that's somehow different than the message that a hundred three other people received on Betty Betty you know Shine's massage table that day. For you know, psychic new age reading, whatever. But watch this. Watch watch what Jeezy Knight does here. It wasn't until 1977 that he appeared to me. She talked about Rom's appearance to her as a, a channel that day. Uh, to me, in my kitchen on a Sunday afternoon, as I was making pyramids. That's not, look. Now watch this. Page 11, synchro for me. Also 77. I was two. I am the magic man. Sorry. Look. When I talk about me being the magic man, it's just. I'm the guy up here, right? We have to have me being a lunatic in order to get people interested. If I act like a lunatic, people will be like, is he losing his mind? And then people will be like, we have something to talk about. Is CW Chanter losing his mind? And if, whatever. I was, she was building pyramids with her husband, the pyramids with my husband at the time, because we were into dehydrating food and we were into hiking and bike backpacking and all that stuff. You were building pyramids because you were into hiking and bike backpacking? Nice try. And so I put one of these ridiculous things on my head and at the other end of my kitchen, this wonderful apparition appeared. I love how she tries to act like we were just uh, building pyramids because they were good for dehydration. You were into the new age. I love, do you see what she's trying to do? She wants to make it like she just contacted Ramtha, but she's not reading the Seth materials by Jane Roberts. She's not going to New Age channelers, right? She doesn't know anything about channeling. She, you know, she's just trying to make it like she got it out of whole cloth. And these pyramids, oh, it just, uh, wait, pyramids can attract entities? Pyramids can open up, wow, I, I just, I, I mean, the, the person at the health food store said, oh, a lot of people are using these pyramids for dehydrating food, and me and my husband were just at the hiking. Meanwhile, her husband that she's speaking to at the time, the man who died of AIDS, um, I think it's the, that guy, he's on the record as saying, this lady's like totally, absolutely, 100% full of it. And if and even if she's not full of it, she, um, she went in all in on QAnon, so she is the discernment to fall for QAnon, so if you want to listen to her channeled messages... Go for it. You just don't expect that 2.30 in the afternoon, 23, 2023, we're doing nostalgia loops based on 23. This is 2003 we're looking at 20 years ago in the afternoon that this is going to appear in your kitchen. No one is ever prepared for that. I think you are prepared for that. Everyone is prepared for that. Whenever you hear these people tell the, whether it's Joseph Smith Joseph Smith went out to the forest that day going, this is the day. He left. He went to the left, looked to the right. Is anyone seeing me leave? Is anyone following me? Nervous, palms sweaty, feet spaghetti. Anyone following me? Right? Because if someone follows you out there, someone's going to call you on your shit. Right? What the fuck you talking about? I saw you out there. The fuck you talking about golden tablets? The fuck you, Joseph? Get the fuck out of here. Yo, yo, yo. Mel's dad. Get, check this out. Joseph, what the fuck did you just... Joseph, 
You tell us what you just said, or I'm going to kick your ass. How about that? Joseph, tell Mahilzadek what you just told us. Neri, I was out by the field, and I pulled up two golden tablets. Mahilzadek, by the way, that didn't happen. He was out there masturbating in the field. Twas a magical act, I say. Kick his ass. Hold him down. And that's where the story of, and they were assholes, and God smited them and said, truly the golden tablets were there. And they were jerks and they were in hell forever. And they were the ones that got their asses kicked that day. 23 skadoo. Right, and there you go. Oh, and then there you go. Little Joseph Smith, who apparently is some sort of Scottish. I have no idea. No one is ever prepared for that. Yes, you are. The first thing I said to him, and I don't know where this comes from. Oh, oh my, what is this? You are so beautiful. Who are you? I'm the guy you've been practicing for. Um, where is this? Da 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 da. That's all I wanted to show you. That was it. 23. Da 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 da. We get notes. And I'll probably have more later. Oh, I just want to make sure I don't miss anyone. You know, he's 35,000 years old. Five plus three is eight. You play that game all day. Channeling Ron for this since late 1979. Wait, hold on. This shit happened in 77, so it took you two years to get your, your shit together? Yeah, see, that's how it goes. It happens, baby. That's it. 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Check out the Blueberry Wolf Bridge No Intro RPG channel. We are having fun. I want you there. I want you involved. You might not understand at first the relevancy just because the channel, the video doesn't say David Wilcock or Corey Good, just because it doesn't say we're analyzing New Age teachings, doesn't mean that it's not relevant to you. It's C.W. Chanter content. And if you're not here for C.W. Chanter, if you're here for me screaming and talking about the other guy, I'm going to tell you something straight up. You are one of the dummies. I am not going to bullshit you. But there's a solution. You can perpetrate to be a smarty pants. And maybe it's just possible that you can learn to be smart. Stop watching garbage content. And start watching me. There's no reason to watch the same bullshit over and over again. And especially, don't be telling yourself any of this crap about something that you're doing being important or necessary or justified or being part of some good fight or waking people up. It's not your job. Everyone's got to wake themselves up and everyone's on their own trip. And, you know, quite frankly, people are entitled to be asleep. You're entitled to be asleep. But... You're also entitled to be reminded every once in a while that you're free to wake up and come on back and participate and eat your vegetables. Come on over to the CW Chanter, the other channels, okay? Or am I losing my mind? We're going back in time. I'm going back on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I need help. I need you to work it. I need you to start channels. I need you to start sock accounts. I need you to get involved. I need you to LARP. I need you to play this meta RPG, which is not a LARP in itself. A LARP is a live action role playing game where you stop reality and you start playing the game. This is a meta RPG where you don't leave reality. You just, we're playing a game in life. Do you get it? Fuck this shit, we're out. We're playing a game in life. We're changing the rules. No red pill. No blue pill. You don't take anything. You just come and participate of your own viol vi you know, volition and you say this part I'm going to participate in because I like and this part fuck this shit I'm out check it out 
If you like it, you like it, and you stick around. If you hate it, you hate it, and you bounce. Cool? Cool. I love you, I love you, I love you. Nobody told you I loved you today? Somebody just did? That homie is CW Chanter for now. <laughs> he comes and goes like waves. Peace be upon you.